When we shared that we were going to Guatemala, our main response was, why? Guatemala is an incredibly underrated country in Central America filled with so much natural beauty and vibrant culture. See for yourself. Join us on this adventure in Guatemala. What's up, AK family? We just touched down in Guatemala. Yes, we are world <laughs> travelers. We are here in Central America for the first time, and we're super excited yes. uh, to see what Guatemala has to offer mm -hmm. for the AK fam. Yeah. So we just flew Frontier Airlines for the first time. If you want to check out our experience on that airline, check that out we'll have the cards up here but we have landed we're super excited yes. our driver is waiting on us so we need to go and make our way from guatemala city to antigua guatemala well let's go we gotta go we gotta go go welcome bienvenido a guatemala city we are outside of the airport look at everybody waiting for their family yep so our driver, Eric, has met us, and we are on the way, baby. Antigua, here we come. Hola, y bienvenido a Antigua. <laughs> we are here in Antigua, Guatemala, yeah. and it was like, when we went from Guatemala City to Antigua, it just completely changed. The style of Antigua is so colorful and I'm so happy that we're here. Just to let you all know, it took about an hour for us to get from the airport to where we are now, which is not bad. We are here at our hotel. We are staying at Mestizo. This is a local hotel. It's like a boutique hotel here in Antigua. So I don't know if our room's ready yet, but we can drop off our luggage at the very least. So we're definitely gonna do that. And then we're gonna explore. Over yep. Here. What's up everybody? We are here, we are outside of our door mm -hmm. to our room. And look at this, we've got a full length. We've got a full length mirror just mm -hmm. right outside of our door. So we're gonna show you all around. All right, let's show you the room. So here is the front entrance here. This room is at the end of the hallway. So when you step inside, you've got the king bed right here. Got a nice chair to sit at, nightstand. So right over here, we've put some of our things down already, but right over here is just a little stand. You've got the television here. And over here is the closet, it's kind of like an open style little closet area. And it looks like there is a drawer here. Oh, yes, great, with a safe. I was hoping there was gonna be a safe in there. And here is the bathroom. They've got the towels, you've got the toilet there. And look at this, um, look at this light that goes all the way up. That's really cool. When you go to hotels and they have this style of shower and then this is just open, water always gets all over the floor. So I appreciate that they have a shower curtain there. We haven't gotten settled quite yet or unpacked or anything, but we got our welcome drinks. They are non-alcoholic and they look delectable. Come on, Misty. So thank you for the welcome drinks. Look at that. Oh, so we have showered and changed and it's time to get something to eat. Believe it or not, it's only 12.30. It feels like it's so much later in the day. Right. But it's only 12.30, so we're gonna try and find some food. Yeah. And like, we out here in Guatemala. Yes, we are. I love it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. These streets, these roads, no joke. Ankle breakers. Like I thought Major that, ankle breakers. I thought Rome was bad. Sheesh, you and got to be careful. I got a joke for you. Okay, here we go. You thought Steph Curry had handles and he broke ankles with his handles. Ain't nobody breaking ankles like cobblestone roads. Ha! <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> All don't right. be mean. God bless you though. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> We're here at our wow. destination. All right, we are here. 
um, and our appetizer has come out. It is hummus, garlic hummus with pita bread, and it is looking real good. It's smelling good, and we have what did we, uh, a ginger lemonade, right? Yeah, so it's a ginger chia lemonade. Ooh, wait, look at that, y'all. Just giving y'all quick thoughts on our hummus. The hummus is fire. This ginger lemonade. Fire. Yep. Fire. So our main dish is here. I got the wok. It's noodles, tofu, broccoli, a whole bunch of other stuff. And then Aaron, what did you get? I got the Lao Tzu, uh, which is tofu, veggies, green peppers, onions, and some good old rice. As you can see. The matter who. <laughs> Flashbacks. Not the matter. <laughs> We're in the Uber. So Ooh. just to let you all know, Antica does have Uber here. We didn't tell them about our food, our meal. Oh yeah. So whew, 10 out of 10. 10 yeah. out of 10. But absolutely recommend, especially for those that are vegetarian. The cuisine was top notch. Mm -hmm. The whole menu, like veggie. I wonder what the breakfast tastes like, but we want to you know, kind of go different places. Yeah, there's too many places but to try here. Everything that we had was exquisite. As you can see, we're going on a bumpy ride. One thing to note in Antica are the bumpy roads, but we're on the way. We are here at Cerro de la Cruz. We're looking out over the city of Antigua. It's free admission, mm -hmm. open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Let us go. I tell you what, people hike up to this place. Not a place to hike to. People do it all the time, Aaron. It's not, this, this is not one of those places. If we could have shown you all, we couldn't show you because it was just so bumpy. Y'all don't want to see that bumpiness. Winding roads, bumpiness to get up here. If you if you hike up here, you're, you're a real one. So we're going down this pretty steep hill and it looks like they've got little vendor stands over here oh i know that's good lord i know it's good <laughs> and then they have souvenirs and stuff over here but we're making our way down making our way down sound stop it stop hey it. no <laughs> get a look at this view what it's crazy this is so beautiful crazy so this whole area is it's a park. It's a really nice park. It looks like they're taking good care of it too. Mm -hmm. So there's benches everywhere. If you wanna just come and sit down, that's where we just came from up there. So there's a ton of benches and there's even more places to sit down here, but wow. Oh, this is an open air theater. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, everyone, we are up here at Cerro de la Cruz. And we have just been looking at this insane view of Antigua. So straight ahead is a volcano. This volcano is called Volcan de Agua. And today you can't really see it all the way to the top because there's clouds, but on a normal day, you would be able to see it clearly to the top. From up here, you can see all of like the historic landmarks here in Antigua. You can see the arch, you can see Central Park, Parque Central, you can see all the good stuff from here. Mm -hmm. This is an incredible view. You definitely have to come and check this out for yourself. If you come to Antigua, um, it took us nothing to get here. Just a quick Uber ride, and our Uber is still waiting on us at the dough. So Aaron just asked him if he could take us to our next destination after we leave here, and he said yes. So he's waiting for us. We got his phone number on WhatsApp, and then we're just gonna leave and head to our next spot. But this is amazing. All right, we are at Abitanango. Abitanango is an eco park. It costs $50 to enter into uh, this area. Uh, bear that in mind when you are coming up to this peak, the air is thin, but it is cooler up here. It is cooler up here. Which is nice, so you won't be sweating bullets. Look at this dog. Him is so cute. He's so cute. I miss Bruno. All right, let's go. We're here. So we made it. We made it. There are big dinosaur prints. Yep. 
in the concrete. And look at this door. Are we about to go into a mystical place? Chronicles of Narnia. Or the Lord of the Rings. Oh. Shuttles come every 15 minutes to transport the guest to the park. So this is not actually the park. This is like a... Just your entry point before they take you up. So we thought we were up high, but apparently we're going up even more. Right. So they gave us wristbands when we paid. Just to let you all know about the currency a little bit. It's about seven quetzales is one US dollar. So we paid 50 quetzales per person to come in here. So that is about how much? How much in US dollars, Aaron? That's about... Aaron's good at math. Seven. Per. So I have this app on my phone. I highly recommend it. It's just called Currency. I'll put a picture of the logo on the screen. I love this app for figuring out prices. But 50 quetzales is $6.39. Mm. So that's all we paid to get over here. Yep. Not bad. <laughs> and we welcome you all to Abitenango. Yes. It's given Lord of the Rings, guys. Yes! <laughs> Straight hobbits and dwarves and wizards and stuff. That's what it's given. Sme I'm looking for Smeagol. It's like when we stepped up here, we were really transported to another mm -hmm. place. This is so cool. And the music that's playing is like that style. I don't know what that style of music is that you would hear in the Lord of the Rings and like olden movies and Very shows. Irish vibes. Yeah, like an Irish vibe, kind of. Mm -hmm. River dance vibe. R that's it, river dance. <laughs> but it's so lush and so pretty up here. This is an eco park. There's a ton of activities to mm -hmm. do. There's food, all that we're going to show you. Honestly, I've heard that the food here is really bad. Oh no. Um, so we're not eating. We're not eating here. I will give you guys a river dance though if Kyra will hold the camera. Come on. You know what? I don't think a single person in the comments is going to say yes, yes. to this, but here we river go. River dance. All right. And, and you see, you're about to fall down this hill. <laughs> you. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I got more where that came from. Jesus. <laughs> you need to relax up here in the mountain There's air. There's more this, where that came from. This low oxygen got you tripping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. That's insane. But it's Gandalf the Grey. What? Or Gandalf the Brown, I however you want to see. <laughs> you can barely see him. Oh my god. The white beard is what you can see. Look at that. And the white hair, the little dot up there. That's that's Gandalf. I think Aaron just put the pieces together. If you don't know. This place is inspired by Lord of the Rings. They have like little hobbit houses, which is so cool. I think we can go inside of them. You can stay in them. Really? Yes, you can stay in them. I don't know how much they cost, but you can. And I hope we get to go inside one. After lots of walking, we've practically been hiking. Yep. <laughs> and now we're overlooking. This is a, uh, a, a outlook point post overlooking the whole park area. Look at this view. So where that smoke is coming from is where we got onto that little truck. Oh yeah, uh-huh. And we came all the way up here. Whoo, it was so steep. Y'all wear closed toed shoes. Yep. <laughs> when you come here. We're completely unprepared. Okay. For I this little adventure today. But the thing is, nobody ever shows that it's like this here. Yeah. Nobody ever shows this. So Lots of mud, lots of very steep steps, so make sure you're wearing close toe shoes that you don't mind getting dirty. We're literally searching for the hand where you can go and get some good pictures and all that stuff, so we, we haven't been able to find it, but hopefully we'll be able to find it. Here is a photo spot here. You've got this beautiful butterfly made out of flowers. Over here you have a swing. There's someone on it right now, and it's really pretty. Um, but yeah, the sun is peeking out which is great and i don't know if we showed you all this look at this there's a whole swing look at that so we just finished taking some pictures at this hobbit house i wanted to show you all what the inside looked like mm -hmm. very hobbit-esque very hobbit-esque <laughs> you walk up here and look at that 
How cool is this? Imagine if you lived in a place like this. You've got a little sitting area where you can look out. But yeah, so this is what the inside of the little houses look like. And of course the door. The door is so cute. Look at that. We are here at the infamous hand in Guatemala. Look at that. Look at that family. How beautiful. And look at the view. That is unreal. So there's a little line over here and we're gonna get some pictures. But also back here is a cafe. They've got coffee and they've got a little sitting area too. just took some pictures over at the hand the hand yes uh, that's what we're gonna call it the hand yes and it's so beautiful over mm -hmm. here it is really a great picture spot they have somebody over here that will take pictures mm -hmm. for and you video. they do have a tip box so you need to leave a little mm -hmm. something if they're gonna be taking pictures of you right. like that's just the nice thing to courtesy, do. Courtesy, yeah. common courtesy. Just wanted to show you guys a little more of what this area actually looked like before we go. I didn't even know there was a whole man here. Mm -hmm. There's a whole man in the in the wall, and I didn't even know. But it's cool. Yep. All right, everyone. I got some chocolate. So they had a little stand. When you come back from the hand, there's different booths and stuff. We can buy souvenirs, you can buy food and stuff. And I got six chocolates. Like they're kind of like ganache or they look really good. Like they look really well put together. Um, so I got six flavors and they were 50 quetzales. And I cannot wait to try them. I'm gonna save them before we get back into the room tonight. I think our time is wrapping up here, mm -hmm. right Aaron? Now we gotta find an Uber back to town. Yeah, so we gotta get back to town. It's getting colder by the minute. It feels good though. It does. They lit a fire over here. Fire but smelling real good it feels, right it now. It smells so good. But yeah, it's time to go. It's been great. Yep. All right, and we made it back to the room. It is sprinkling. It's not raining too hard, but it is raining outside. Sprinkle, um, sprinkle. It has been a great day. Uh, as you saw in this vlog, we have been walking in the wrong shoes, <laughs> in the mud. But it has yes. been a great day. Tomorrow, we will be going to Lake Atitlan, which is really exciting. It is the biggest lake in Central America. Mm -hmm. It's going to be incredible after we have a morning here in Antigua. It is our first morning here in Antigua, Guatemala, and we woke up early this morning so that we could take some pictures. We are at El Arco de Santa Catalina. Uh, we got here around what, 7.20ish? 7.20, yeah. 7.20, mm -hmm. around eight o'clock it gets busier. Yeah. Over here around this, so this time. So honestly, if you wanna take some good photos over here with not a lot of people and not a lot of cars mainly, then you need to try to get here at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. You've got one hour from seven to eight to get your good pictures. Just to give you a little information on this arch, this is one of the most popular landmarks here in Antigua. It was actually created for nuns. So on one side of the street was a convent and on the other side of the street was a school and they created this walkway so that nuns could walk across without having to walk on the street. Oh wow. Yeah, so that's what this is here for. And it's just have a historical landmark here. It's very protected. If you type in Antigua, Guatemala on Google, this is probably one of the first pictures that you'll see of this beautiful city. This is amazing. Oh yeah. It's amazing. I'm just like doing research and seeing this and being here. It's always such a cool feeling. We're done taking pictures now. And it's time to get some desayuno. We are so hungry. We are here at El Viejo Cafe. And we are super excited because we just met someone who moved here four months ago and he said that this cafe is very good. So we're gonna go in there and try it out. Cause it's it's y'all, it's breakfast time. Man, it's time Stomach to eat. talking to yes. us, talking about what y'all doing. Okay. Like y'all gonna talk to me today, y'all gonna feed me today. So we're gonna <laughs> go in here and see what it's talking about. Um, and we're super excited because it's food. Anything with food, we're excited. As you can see, this restaurant is so Beautiful. They have Spanish and English menus, but we're super excited because 
we're hungry, and we're going we to we eat. The people are very friendly. Yeah, very friendly. We've got our first course <laughs> is what it feels like for breakfast. If you do the complete breakfast, it comes with a ton of stuff. It comes with oatmeal, comes with plantain, it comes with black beans. So she brought out the oatmeal first and it looks so good. And it has a little biscuit. This is reminding me of when we were in Amsterdam. You remember we went to that cafe mm -hmm. and they had those biscuits and we were like, what is that for? Bro, that joint was... It was so good too. The food is here and it looks divine. Mm -hmm. So I got the Motuleño, two fried eggs on top of a tortilla with mozzarella cheese and red and green sauce. It also comes with black beans, cheese, and plantain. I got an omelet with avocado on top and mushrooms and spinach on the inside with plantain and some beans. And we got bread too. Yeah, and we got bread. Great food. It was really good food. Fantastic meal. The black beans, whew, chef's kiss. <laughs> um, I had pancakes, but the pancakes didn't come to the table till later. I don't know what type of syrup it was. I don't know if it was honey or syrup or a mixture of the two, but it was really good. It was mm -hmm. just a good breakfast experience. Now we're going to another cafe because Kyra wants to get some coffee. The arch is right there. Also, hello, there's a Starbucks. Now, I would go in there and get coffee, but Guatemala has too many good coffee places to go to Starbucks, let's be for real. But here is the logo. I do wanna go in just to see it though, cause I heard it's beautiful. Okay. Oh, it does say they serve Guatemalan uh, single origin coffee though. So they serve Guatemalan coffee, but I still wanna go to a local place. Um, so yeah, the arch is right over here. And then if you turn this way, you can see the volcano. Just peeking through, and we're walking to the cafe. All right, everybody. Our time here in Guatemala, Antigua, <laughs> has come to a close. For now. For now. Yes. And Kyra, where are we going? We are headed to Lake Atitlan, which is the biggest lake in Central America. So we're, we're super so excited. excited. Everybody's telling us it's the most picturesque place we can go. And we're gonna have some time to do some adventurous things. And we're super excited about what the rest of this day holds for us. You guys don't even know what we're going to do tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be insane. Right. So you don't want you don't want to miss it. Yes. So listen, because you don't want to miss it, make sure you subscribe and you click that notification bell so you can make sure that mm -hmm. you are notified when we post our adventures for the rest of our Guatemalan trip. We're just getting started. Adios. Join us for part two of our adventure in Guatemala as we make our way to the deepest lake in Central America, Lake Atitlan. We check into one of the most beautiful resorts at the lake, do something adventurous in a nature reserve, and explore the colorful town of San Juan La Laguna. You won't want to miss it.